Florida schools must now teach students about the, quote, benefit of slavery when teaching black history. The controversial new education standard passed by the State Board of Education earlier this week. Now, this follows Governor DeSantis's so-called Stop Woke Act, which forced the rewriting of education standards there in Florida. A controversial part of these new standards is instruction for middle school students to learn, quote, how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. The largest teachers union in the state has spoken out against the new standards, calling them, quote, a step backward, adding that students deserve the full truth of American history. For more on this, we are joined by Andrew Atterbury. He is an education policy reporter for Politico based in Florida. Andrew, implying that enslaved people benefited from their bondage has understandably upset many people. How are folks in Florida responding to this? Sure. Hey, thanks for having me. Glad to be here from Tallahassee. Uh, so that they came out on Wednesday at this meeting, and this is really the first time that people got a glimpse of what these standards look like. And it was it was a firestorm for the Florida Department of Education and the Board of Education. People that were there weren't too thrilled, thrilled with these lessons, but uh, the state they're, they're they were proud to roll these out. This is something they've been working on for a while. Like you said, they were uh, they come from the Stop Woke Act. That was something that specifically Governor Ron DeSantis requested last year. Uh, the woke part is actually an acronym. It means the wrongs to our kids and employees act. Uh, that was something that was one of his biggest parts of his agenda back at last year. Um, and that what the, what the law actually does, uh, it creates new protections for students and even workers is a whole other part of it. Um, that a, a person shouldn't be instructed to feel guilt, anguish, or any form of psychological distress uh, due to their race, color, sex, or national origin. So because of that new law, uh, they decided that they needed to change all of these uh, the standards too. So they cr actually created a whole new carve out on black history, which is why they were so proud of it. It was something that they thought went even deeper uh, than their previous lessons. But whenever these were rolled out and uh, you saw some of the framing of it, people, some people really took issue with it. Andrew, I should say that we reached out to the governor's office and they pointed us to a statement that was shared by the Board of Education it reads in part, quote, Florida students deserve to learn how slaves took advantage of whatever circumstances they were in to benefit themselves and the community of African descendants. How does this differ from what has been taught in the state in the past? Well, when you look at the lessons, they really didn't have any specific carve outs for black history. So this is all for a lot of the stuff is new things that they're introducing, which is why the state thinks this is good for them. We're going, hey, we're actually going deeper into some of this stuff. Uh, but when you look at, like you said, the, the way that some of these were worded, like it, like the benefits of it, people said that that was just absolutely not okay. I mean, you saw, you saw this getting issued. Like people were raising, like civil rights lawyer Benjamin Crump was talking about this. So this was, this was getting a lot more uh, attention than just Florida, which is probably not something that people expected, just from the way that it was rolled out. And and as you uh, and the statement that you mentioned earlier, they're also the state is also taking aim at the teachers' union, saying that a lot of this is their fault. And that they're that they're blowing up an issue that the state thinks really isn't a big deal, um, and this is something that you see a lot in Florida. DeSantis administration, the Department of Education, they're constantly at odds with the teachers' union. This is things that go back to the COVID pandemic, teacher pay. I mean, this is that's pretty typical for Florida. But but there were other there were other organizations as well. There were state lawmakers, there were Democratic lawmakers who raised issues with this. The NAACP was there. I mean, so there and there were several other groups too. So it's not just teachers' unions. Uh, but that, but that's kind of what the state is doing a little bit is needling the union, saying y'all kind of sparked a lot of these concerns. Well, I'm sure that there's also parents who are concerned about this, and I'm wondering where we go from here. The Board of Education, made up entirely of DeSantis appointees, so what recourse do parents have if they disagree? Well, now it's a lot. Now this really falls on school districts to carry this out, and then we'll go through picking picking textbooks and things like that. But as far as the state goes, I mean, these are the standards now. These were uh, unanimously passed by the Board of Education, and they were the Board of Education stood by these too. You know, they they said this the whole history is there. They said that they they stood by these, and that they kind of downplayed the complaints as saying, you know, that we think this is great, and people are just missing missing the point basically. So from the state's perspective, this is pretty much done, which is why you see them defending it today. And they, they doubled down on it again today saying um, that this is what we're gonna go with. Um, and and you still, like, even speaking to some of the concerns, I mean, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke out about it. She's supposed to speak in Jacksonville today. Uh, so this is getting a lot more attention than I think folks really expected it to. All right, Andrew Atterbury, thank you. Thanks for having me.